Hey guys, ladies, gentlemen, people, Tiffany Burke here. I've had a request today and a couple actually in the past to do show how to do collages in Lightroom. I'm just going to show you how I do collages. I'm not sure if there's an actual smarter, better, safer way, but this is how I do it. So when you go into Lightroom up here on the top right, you have your library print map, book, slideshow, etc. Or excuse me, develop, map, book, slideshow. No, I don't want to do it. make a book from here. So I go into my, uh, my, my print module. It still thinks I want to make a book. I go to my print module and it just kind of automatically brings up on the left hand side, you get these Lightroom templates. Just kind of like if you click through kind of makes these templates for you. It creates this, this is your kind of printer paper. It's imagine, okay, now I'm gonna do all these prints here. Like if you really were to do a print job, you're gonna, maybe you're gonna, you know, put another one down here and keep going. So you would just drop it in and this one's gonna go this way, but you could also just drop it, a photo, pick it up from here and just drop it right into, oh, there we go, into one of the cells. So this is weird. So. I actually make my own and I'm just going to show you how to do that because I get frustrated in here. So I start with a really blank canvas and I just delete all this stuff. Just click, right click, delete, clear out your canvas. Okay, now you have this super basic canvas to work with. Over in your right hand side, you can do a bunch of things. So you can just do what I just did and clear that out or you can do custom package and it should start as clear. You can decide, oh, we'll get into this later actually, but you can choose what you want your, how the size of your canvas. So maybe you want it 10 by 10 for Instagram. So you just put in your 10, I do it by inches down here by the way. So 10 by 10, so now I know that however I'm gonna fill all of this up with photos is going to be in the 10 by 10 frame. Or if you're gonna do one for Facebook, uh, like a Facebook uh, timeline photo or whatever, you're gonna get make your own specs down here and then you add your photos in. So let's go to like a basic, maybe let's just do like a 10 by, or 15 by, let's just make something up. Let's do 15 by 10 and see what that looks like. Okay, this feels fine for me. So I'm actually just gonna pick up photos that I want and I'm gonna drop them where I want them. I don't know why I picked up multiple pictures to tell you the truth. So I'm going to get rid of that. So I'm going to just kind of drag and pull this where I want it to go. I have a border on my pictures, which is found on the right hand side up here. You can make your border as big or as small as you want to. I like having just, or you could turn it off, just check it. No border. The pictures will touch perfectly, but I like to have a little tiny clean border between the two of them. And then I seem to have a border on my, I see how, oh, there we go. I can go back up. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and make it the size that I want to make it where it looks good. Stretch it out. I want to keep the picture, the story that it is because you can make it do stuff like this and you're not going to get the original story that you were telling. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to find another one. That's probably a lengthwise one too. Maybe this guy down here and I'll drop little baby bunch kins. Now I can eyeball it or I can match them up like this. I'm sure again, there's an easier way, but I just like to match them. So I know that it looks like similar and the same, you know, you get what I'm saying. Okay. So this friend, she's going up here. Little bub bubs is going to go right here. Maybe, maybe he goes up a little bit higher. You get the idea. Uh, next, let's throw maybe like a couple picture in. Okay, here's mom and dad together, looking fabulous. Um, so I wanna tell that whole story with her dress there. I don't want to crop her to hear it. That doesn't make sense for my life. So I'll just kind of throw that in there for now and then I'll come back and, and maybe I'll maybe I'll drop this down. Maybe I'll increase this up. And again, I can go over here and I can make my thing longer, wider, all the 
dirty words you can think of. So again, you're just dropping in where you want your story to go for your collage. It can be any sizes that you want. Maybe this guy goes here. I don't know. So I don't want them to overlap like that. See this line across here? See that? That doesn't look fresh or clean to me. So I like to my clean lines to line up perfectly. This feels like it adds a larger gap, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull here. Now it's going under it. You can tell the photo what to do if you want it to go under or over by right click. You can send backwards, send forwards. So if I were to send it to the front, <laughs> it's not doing it now. Technically, oh yeah, if I send it to the front, it goes over this photo. If I send it to the back, it goes behind it. So it just makes things easier. You'll play around, you'll kind of figure that part out yourself. Okay, so blah, 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 you get the idea. So we're doing this, then let's just finish the collage. Let's throw in maybe dad alone. We don't have dad alone, so maybe dad is up here doing his cute little thing, holding his son. And then however I want to, maybe I want to pull him in closer to here. Again, I'm not going to fill up this full canvas if I know that I can adjust it later. I'm not going to keep adjusting my canvas until I, I know really what I want here. And then I don't know what to put on the bottom. We'll just throw mom down here. Okay. I didn't, so these are just pictures I threw in for you guys. This isn't an actual collage I'm making. Although I'm sure I could, I bet mom and dad would love this. So let's even and line everything up. She can get moved over here again, and she can also get pulled to here. He can go over and up. She can go over, and maybe I'm gonna have to just make the collage a tiny bit longer. So again, I'm gonna go down to my custom dimensions, and maybe I'm gonna make it 16 by eight. Oops, I went the wrong way, so sorry. 14, there, that just made it a whole lot worse. 14 by 10, okay? So that's gonna give me more room down here to tell her story up there. Does that make sense? Maybe I'll shrink this down a little. Maybe I'll bring this down here. I don't wanna cut off her dress, so. Okay, okay. So her dress is cut off a little here. As a top three, now, you don't have to, you know, have perfect lines as in these all have to, this line has to go straight across to here. It can, you can make things go up and down however you want to. So I could, he could live up here like this and then she could live up here like this as long as this friend to me needs to line up and this friend then to me lines up over here. And then I'll probably just fill that line in. This looks a little spaciously weird to me. Oops, she's just moving all over. Maybe that fixed it. It didn't, see this weird line? You know, so maybe I'm gonna pull her here and then I'm gonna send her backwards. Well, that didn't really work out in my favor, did it now? Um, there. That seems a little better. He seems a little weird on his end, so maybe I'll pull him over and I'll send him backwards too. There we go. So that kind of fixed that. There's a tiny space up here. It gives me more room for her dress. I can keep going if I want to, if I don't feel like I'm cutting him off too much, which I probably am. But anyways, you'll play around with it. You'll figure out what works for you. Now, here's the great thing about this. So you did all of this work and you really like this. You can make it a preset. Pop on over here to on the left hand side to your template browser. Click this plus button and make your own template. So I can say, you know, for Facebook, multiple photos maybe. Okay, I'm gonna click create. That's gonna generate it all the way down here on the bottom under user templates. I have a like a couple down here. So this is my Facebook side-by-side -side one. So if I ever wanted to do something, I just pick up and drop in here. 
and pick up and drop in here. And then I drop my logo right down here. Okay. And my logo is actually a, a JPEG that I can just drop in as a picture. And of course I would adjust these photos because I want that full skirt in there. And then, and then I'll adjust again the settings over here. So I'll go over and say, I have my ruler up here. Do you see this? So that's how I know the inches. So 17 and a half seems pretty good. So I'll change the 20 to 17.5. That seems really good to me. And then I would just drop my logo in right here. It's usually down under here, but it's saved someplace else. Um, let's see here, it was in my last baby session. So I'll just pick it up, drop it into the session that I want. I'm sure there's a better way to do that. Go back into print mode. So then I would just pick up my logo and drop it down there. Okay, so now with that collage we just made, we have a saved template down here that we saved Facebook. So here it is, it looks a little messy, but then you just pick up your photos if you have a new session and they happen to be, you know, close to the same size or whatever, and you're just dropping them in here, okay? And you're, they're just populating where they need to be going. They don't, okay. So this looks great. And then if I wanted, oh, I want to add my logo down here. This doesn't seem really, it's like I want people to steal my images or whatever. I'm not very concerned about that, but I am. Con I do like brand awareness and putting my logo out there. So I'm gonna look over here and it's at 10 on the left. Here's my little ruler. So I think probably 11 inches should be good enough. I'll put that down there. That seems kind of big. That's what she said. Drop my logo in, okay. And then, uh, Maybe I'll do, change it to like 10.7. There, that feels a lot better. This kind of popped up a little bit, so I'm gonna adjust that down to here, okay? So, there you go, that's how you do that. And again, you can put any pictures that you want anywhere. You can change anything up. It doesn't have to be in that exact order. You know, these, be, he can go, and anybody can go anywhere. Do you get it? Cool. Okay, so that's that. Um, you can make your own templates as you go along. Oh, and then in, to print them, let's just let's just go through the printing thing. So I will, let's fix this however we wanted it to. All right, so this seems, there's like a space right here. I'm gonna fix that because I'm a perfectionist. Cool. Looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and go over here to print file on the right hand side. Um, I make sure, sorry, let me fix this first. I make sure on the right hand side, I like to do print sharpening. I check that and I click standard. You can do low, standard, or high. Uh, I don't know what song is on right now, if you guys even hear it, it's kind of annoying me. Media type, glossy, I don't mess with that because that's actually for really printing it. This is just, I'm going to be printing to a JPEG. Up here, so you're in a print job, hopefully you guys can see that. Up here, print to, you can print directly to your printer or you print a JPEG file which goes on to your computer and exports it, okay? I have it set to 300 PPI. Sometimes I do 310 for no reason. And I leave everything else alone. The profile is sRGB, I leave that where that is. I don't mess with, I don't mess with that stuff, okay? Print to file, choose where you want it to go, on your desktop, wherever, name it what you want to name it. You know, Tiffany is silly. Okay, I probably wouldn't really name it that. Looks like you spelled silly wrong. I would probably name it something, you know, Seattle photographer, newborn photography, Tiffany Burke photography, just in case. I upload it someplace else. I like the little, you know, I don't mess with the tags. I don't have time for that. Okay, click save. It's exporting right now, preparing to print job. It's gonna print to my desktop. Is that where we chose? I don't even know. And then it's gonna be on my desktop. So I'll upload that now and I will get this video uploaded. If you have questions, let me know. But again, make your own templates. I use uh, this one too, Facebook Long, if I just wanna do just drop in my sneak peek there, put my logo in down there. This one's already populated. If my logo looks too big, I will shrink it. Maybe I'll pull her down, whoops. 
so you get the idea just kind of going from there I'm definitely thumbs downing this song that's on right now and if you have questions let me know I'm happy to answer anytime good luck friends